The Miami Dolphins made running the ball a priority this offseason, as they've signed two running backs and a fullback so far, but Chase Edmonds was the first free agent they reached an agreement with. In 2021, the Miami Dolphins ranked 29th in rushing yards per game, ahead of the Steelers, Falcons, and Texans, as they averaged 92.2. Edmonds, who signed a two-year deal worth $12.1 million, along with Raheem Mostert, Miles Gaskin, and Alec Ingold will be tasked with leading this rushing attack to better results. Now that the signing is official, here are some things Dolphins fans should know about Edmonds before he takes the field. He's no stranger to a shared backfield. The Dolphins will likely have Edmonds and Mostert share responsibilities in the running game this season, and the former is used to that. In 2021, Edmonds shared Arizona's backfield with James Conner, who nearly doubled up Edmonds' carries on the season. The year prior it was old friend Kenyon Drake who was splitting reps with him, just as he did in 2019 but with David Johnson thrown in as well. Cliff Kingsbury had faith in him to be a lead back. Before Kingsbury brought in Conner last offseason, he was high on Edmonds being the top producing running back in his offense. As far as Chase goes, you've seen when he's had his opportunity, he's played at a starting running back level, Kingsbury said, via Pro Football Talk. We all understand that he's unfortunately been nicked up a couple times, which we want to keep him on the field. But we have all the confidence in the world in Chase and him being able to be the bell cow if that's how this plays out. He is a small school hero. Edmonds played four years at Fordham, which isn't necessarily known for producing NFL talent, but it is where Vince Lombardi played collegiate football. During Edmonds' career, he recorded 5,862 yards and 67 touchdowns on 6.2 yards per carry while adding another 905 yards and 7 touchdowns on 86 receptions. He also won the Jerry Rice Award for being the best freshman in the FCS in 2014. He can bring something on special teams if needed. Edmonds really got his first real opportunities returning kicks in 2021. He had 18 return attempts for 417 yards, a 23.2-yard average. Kick return is a skill that the Dolphins could really use some help with. Last year, Jalen Waddell was the main returner with nine attempts for 17.6 yards per return. If Miami could get away with keeping Waddell, who is clearly one of the most important pieces on the offense, off the field that would probably be for the best. The Miami Dolphins agreed to a number of deals during the NFL's legal tampering period, but the first official deal that they signed on the first day of free agency was fullback Alec Ingold. While the Dolphins didn't use a traditional fullback during Brian Flores' tenure, new head coach Mike McDaniel is expected to utilize the position much more frequently. That's why Ingold will likely come in and have an established role right from the start, and the Dolphins will make sure he's put in the best position for him to succeed in 2022 and beyond. Here are a few things fans should know about the fullback. He's coming off of an injury. In a Week 10 matchup on a Sunday night against the Kansas City Chiefs, Ingold tore his ACL while blocking, ending his season early. He had surgery and has been recovering since November, so he should be ready to go by the start of the season, but it may take him some time to get back to full confidence in his knee. He's been a weapon in Las Vegas. Fullbacks, while they're seldom used in today's game, are traditionally thought of as big bruisers who clear the way for the smaller, quicker backs behind them. Ingold, while he is a great blocker, has shown that he's more versatile than that. In his three seasons with the Raiders, Ingold recorded 239 yards and three touchdowns on 28 receptions. Those numbers might not jump off the page, but for a fullback, they're solid. He's been a champion of adoption during his time in the NFL. The 25-year-old fullback is involved in a number of charitable, volunteering endeavors. Because he was adopted, Ingold has really done a lot to promote adoption now that he has the means to do so. During the 2021 edition of the NFL's My Cause My Cleats program, Ingold represented Adopt Us Kids. Las Vegas Councilman Brian Knudsen also shared support and appreciation for Ingold's work with the cause. We desperately need people like Alec Ingold, that are advocating for children and for every child that is waiting in foster care. He was a dominant dual-threat quarterback in high school. Before attending the University of Wisconsin, Ingold played his high school football at Bay Port in Swamico, Wisconsin. During his time there he was an explosive athlete and was tasked with quarterbacking his team. In 34 games, Ingold rushed for 4,208 yards and 61 touchdowns while completing 60.5% of his passes for 2,838 yards and 28 touchdowns. McDaniel's mentor Kyle Shanahan has been known to come up with some crazy plays, so we may see Ingold as the lone man in the backfield at some point, and who knows what could happen from there.